Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, this is a voice control tutorial for the voice recognition software uh, you had running on your Raspberry Pi. Um, for this setup, first of all, you need to have either a USB microphone or a USB webcam with an inbuilt mic. Uh, I have one here, over here, as you can see. Um, and also, you need to have internet connectivity, either LAN or Wi Fi. And then just your normal Raspberry Pi with the uh, Raspbian OS and the USB keyboard. So this is all the hardware you'll be uh, required to have in order to work with this tutorial. And now I'll just show you how the software works and how it can be configured. Hey, so this voice control software was uh, created by Steven Hickson. It's a really cool voice control software. It's very accurate and swift too. And I'll just show you how it can be configured and used. So after installation, you'll see that in your home folder, you'll have a new folder called P Pi AUI Suite. So that's the folder in which all the um, installations or all the softwares of this um, uh, system go into. So you can just um, check it out, all the contents. So you'll have various packages installed here in this folder. You'll have the package for uh, playing YouTube videos, uh, the voice command package, etc. Now, uh, in order to see the various commands uh, which are defined for the software, you just need to use the command voice command minus E. So when you type this, you'll be able to see a command configuration file. In this file, you'll see all the commands that have been defined for the various speech commands you'll be using. And for instance, when you say um, download, you can download the stuff. When you say YouTube, you can uh, the, it automatically searches using this command YouTube search for videos. The dot 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 represent anything you say after you say YouTube and then you have the google command etc uh, so you can if you need to add a new command for example check you can just say uh, add the word check and then use an equal to equal to sign here and then enter the bash command which you would like to execute or perform for that voice command so if you need to add anything you can just do it here this also has the options for you to set keywords so that the system only responds when you call out that particular keyword. I've used the keyword Sam here. Uh, I thought it's a really cool name to use. And also you can set the Google speech response that is the response you get when you say the keyword. So you can set it here uh, anything you want. So I've just set it as hello. Uh, it's really short. so. And if you want to edit it, you can just, you know, change it here. Be careful to remove the hashtag here before you do that. So that the, it's not a command anymore. So this is the command configuration file. You can add any extra commands or modify it in any way you want to. Now I'll just show you how we can start using the software. So in order to use the software, you can just uh, use the bash command, uh, which is defined, that is a voice command. You just need to enter voice command and minus C so that it runs continuously. So when you install the software as instructed in the DIY hacking page, you can, the bash command voice command is automatically added to your bash commands, existing bash commands. So that you uh, just simply have to type this particular command in order to get the software running. So uh, this is the command here. So before that, let me just uh, start X. So that okay, now just uh, take the terminal. And now just enter voice command minus C to get the software running. So uh, the software basically works uh, when you say the keyword. So I have set the keyword here as Sam. So whenever I say Sam, the software begins to listen for any other commands you say. 
So I'll just sh show you a few common commands that I have programmed for it. Sir. Hello. Check. So uh, right now you can see that when I said the keyword Sam, it uh, responded with the hello. And when I said the command check, it's now executing the command ping google.com. So um, this is uh, one example. I'll show you another one. Hello, Google Android. So right now when I said that, it just opened up Google and uh, search for Android. So Google Android just uh, searches for the keyword Android in Google search and opens up the web browser. So you can see here now uh, how it has opened up the browser and shows you all the results here. Similarly, it will work for any keyword. You just need to use Google before anything you want to search and it will show you uh, the results here. Now uh, I'll show you another example of how you can uh, open up your mail uh, using voice commands too. Sam. Hello. Mail. Now it will uh, show you, it will open up the inbox for you. I have configured a silk feed uh, mail configuration or mail client here. So when I set the command of mail, it automatically opened my silk feed uh, inbox and shows you all the various mail I've got. So um, this is also another example. Now I'll show you another one too. So Navigation So you can see now that when I said navigation kitchen, it automatically opens up the Google Maps and you'll be able to see the maps of Kitchen or any other place that uh, you say while saying the navigation command. So uh, it is also helpful in a lot of ways like this too. Now I'll just uh, show you a final example of uh, using um, YouTube via voice command too. Sam. Hello, YouTube Android. So you can see now that it's running the command YouTube search Android. So in uh, some time it will open up uh, the uh, video about Android. So basically how it selects is that it searches the keyword Android using a YouTube search command and it takes the first search result and plays it automatically. So it will take a little bit time to get the streaming done, but when it plays it, it plays it in the highest resolution and you'll be able to see it in uh, some time. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Hands on. So uh, this is the developer edition of the build. And you can see that it's playing in the highest resolution. Latest version of Android, Android L. <laughs> So it will take some time to stream it because it's the highest resolution and you might need a fast internet connection too. But this is also a pretty useful command in order to use too. So uh, I hope you guys uh, do interesting stuff with this uh, software. So have fun.